All right, guys. Uh, hi again. This is Charlie. We're gonna do some cross out. We're gonna do a hard raid. We're gonna test this build again. Uh, so we have been doing two tests already, two hard raid already. Pretty both were both were pretty successful. Uh, they were both uh, fire starters. And right now we have some hard raid uh, downs children going on. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna test this bit with dance children. Probably nothing wrong will happen. I mean, I know that nothing will happen because I already tested it and used it many times before, but never recorded for you guys. So let's go. Let's get to it. Uh, I'm just gonna. Last time I, 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 I would just put uh, just a irrelevant uh, co-pilot just to show you that it's efficient even if you don't have Perseus level 15 okay so here it's not going to do anything it's like I didn't have any co-pilots uh, so that's it let's go let's smash some bots let's get some electronic electronics uh, I think I fixed the problem of uh, fluidity. The video should be smooth now, uh, but the voice now should be a bit scrappy, so I'll just fix it. Okay, so before the game is starting, I'm just gonna get some barrel like this in the face, just to show you guys how resistant this build is. Okay. And okay. right, so I took like a lot of let's say they are mines, and basically, even if even if uh, I'm a bit messy, it's still once it gets rolling, once it's uh, a bit fast, like 40 kilometers, it's pretty maneuverable, right? So, even if I took like let's say five barrels of mines. It's still maneuverable. I didn't lose all my mobility because, again, non-steering wheels, when they are fast enough, meaning above 40 km per hour, non-steerings are basically steering still. So that's why this is great. You can just put four non-steering wheels in a row, in a line, and you get less more train, more tonnage, uh, and you can still steer. So it's just win-win. This is what makes this build good because you can reach gross uh, tonnage with just small wheels, starting wheels. So as I explained the first video, I use starter wheels. And people can say, oh my god, starter wheels, I'm not a noob anymore. And the thing is that starter wheels, they have better tonnage than small wheels. And if you protect them well enough, like I did, well, it's not an issue. Of course, the power drain is higher, uh, but it's worth it, especially when you are on a budget. Okay? You don't want to waste money coins by fancy wheels, you have better things to do with your coins, like PvP gear, you don't have time to, for, to buy landing gear or studded wheels or something. And then you just choose starter wheels and you're done. This is a done deal. Starter wheels get the job done and that's it. And you don't, I don't use uh, medium wheels. Uh, on this build, as I said before, uh, because they are much heavier, and the crawl cabin, you really need to take care of your mass limit. Okay? Every kilogram less is good. Okay, is to be taken. So no medium wheels. On top of that, if you take medium wheels, you can just put six of them and not eight, and that's a problem because. It's less PS and unless, uh, unlike usually, 
We want more PS. This one because we need to reach 5,000. Uh, 5,000 PS. So we need to have as much wheels as possible. As I mean, of course, as long as we reach the tonnage. We reach the tonnage is fine. More wheels. Anyway, so there's a reason why I don't take video games. There's a reason why I think I took the starter wheels. Everything is part of the plan, okay? So don't come to me and say, oh, you should take medium wheels. I mean, I won't take it, um, I won't take it uh, wrong and everything. I will just explain that. Where are we going? What should we do? What should we do? I will just explain that. Yes, medium wheels are fine, are good usually, but they are not the best for this build. They are not the best basically for grow. Uh, you can use those medium wheels and growth and there will be no problems at all. But if you need optimized as much as possible, uh, durability and uh, weight limit, you might just want to take some starter wheels instead of small wheels, any kind of light wheels basically. Hello. Uh, can you just put me down? Thanks. Alright, so in the team we have high PS 7, 7, and 6,000 PS. We have a rocket, we have energy weapons, and we have shotgun. A mix of shotgun and cannons, which I'm not really fan of. But yeah, it's working, it's working. So very interesting red, because we have diversity of builds, of strategies. Come on. So this leg guy has the rockets, this guy has the mixed shotgun and cannon, and this guy has other ah, energy weapons. And I have auto cannons. Uh, let's remember that they have all a thousand PS more than me, even two, or two of them. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how uh, valuable this is. Okay, it's a project game. How well does it do against higher buildings? So we can see that someone already exploded. Uh, strange enough, we are doing the uh, faction down children. We are against down children now, and there's still some. Uh, uh, let's see. Ah, the, the werewolf cabin with drones. So it's strange to see that. I thought they were just fire starters. So far, so good. We have four players right now. Uh, we have been to it's our fourth raid right now uh, that I'm recording, and so far we had like at, at least two raids with only three people. So when there's only three people, it can be difficult, more difficult than before, uh, but it can also be more rewarding. Yes. Uh, Last raid, the last video was uh, uh, Perimeter Bridge, Lost Coast, and we just had 13 electrons, which is very good for this type of red. Usually, you don't get that much. Okay, so this guy, for example, he has a good red build, I guess. You know, uh, strafing rockets. This build is. Where I arrive, but this build is, is quite expensive. Four beam grams, it's very expensive, it's 400 each, so it's like a thousand uh, 600 already with the uh, mobility. I'm not sure what kind of rockets he has, not the, neither the cabin, but yeah, very expensive. But with all little build of only less than 400 points, 
Probably well, probably not as well as the others. Probably similar. This is what I'm expecting. This is what usually happens when I uh, raid with it. This guy is in trouble again. Okay, so you can see that Aurora was aiming the cabin, not the guns. Kevin did not explode, not get destroyed as fast as the guns for sure. But okay, another guy exploded already and I'm still fine. Oh, he has a growl. It's a growl Kevin he has in this guy, okay. So, there was a question that, uh, that I had several times in Discord channel, official one and the other one is why not vectors, why rapiers? Rectors, they are machine gun, they don't have recoil, they don't have a slow turning rate, so they should be better, right? Well, I thought so as well before, but not anymore. There's several reasons why rapiers are better than cord. Better than victors. The first reason is durability. Uh, before the syndicate update, I had a similar build but with uh, vectors in the tower. And since the second syndicate match, basically, those Aurora downshifters, purple bots in general, they were aiming at the weapons. So something that they never did before uh, and they were just destroying the, the victors so that's the problem so I had to think about the alternative to victors because since the Sigurd page patch they are just too weak like durability wise of course so there's okay, so just trying to make a little turn. Not in a fresh shape right now. I'm just gonna try to survive a little bit more before using my. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> okay, my god, the team is dying. So, first reason why not vectors is durability. The second reason why not vectors is. Performance, of course, I guess that was the first reason. Scrapers have good performance, you can see that very soon. You already saw that in the previous video that I made. If you did not watch previous two videos, just feel free to watch it. Watch it, you will see what I'm talking about. Anyway, performance is fine with rapiers, durability is better with rapiers. Uh, Done. We are a bit in trouble right now because we are to burst and death. We might not manage this one. Anyway, uh, so yeah, performance is better with rapiers, durability is better with rapiers, and also price is better with rapiers because they are 26 points and the vectors are right now around 40. And you only need two, uh, three rapiers while you need four vectors. And last point why rapiers are better is all good again because they have a, sim they have a similar weight than uh, vectors, but you just need three of them, not two. So it's, you save, you save one, you save mass. They are more durable. And they have a similar performance, so rapiers are better. All right, so we got 12 uh, electricity, electronic, sorry, and we were we are second. Uh, and this guy has basically the rocket launcher, big ram. Uh, we'll try to double check that. 
I'm taking the screenshots here. Uh, Oxota, oh my god. What is this? I wish we could just watch this build like this. Okay, let me just uh, a second. I'm just gonna write this down. And take PE. Something like this, I believe. Okay, I'm gonna close this part. And we're gonna check this guy's build. So just remember we had uh, 12 electronic. And this guy, oh crap, is it L, is it E? I will not know. Okay, let's try L. Okay, it was L. Yeah, fused, fused wasp. But again, yeah. It's a very much expensive build, and this guy had 15 electronic. So yeah, why we had 12? He had a bit more uh, resources than us, but his build is like at least it's way more expensive. The big rams are also much more expensive. But it's a good build. He had the wasp uh, big ram. He can strife. He can shoot. He probably had the colossus as well. I guess to reload faster. So yeah, with this cheap build, you can still yeah, raid definitely better. Not better, but I mean better when you're talking about price performance ratio. All right, that's gonna be it for today. I mean for now, I guess. And see you around. And like and subscribe. And I hope uh, thank you for watching the video. And I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, bye.